All right, people, Mackie Sports back here to talk about day two of the NFL draft for the Pittsburgh Steelers. <clears throat> Opened up today with a lot of interesting scenarios that could have possibly played out. One involving trading out, trading down, staying put, and just taking BPA. We decided at pick 32 to take the hometown kid, former father to son, Joey Porter Jr., cornerback out of Penn State. I was good with this pick. I also was fine with Brian Branch as well. And potentially a trade out if we got the right trade haul. But nonetheless, I was pretty happy to stay there and just take uh, Joey Porter Jr., who was mocked to us quite often. And we got a first round talent at 32, which was great. Needed a corner. Joey Porter Jr. is a good press, man-to-man -man type of corner. Uh, didn't really get a lot of interceptions, but didn't get really any targets at thrown his way last year. Was a little handsy in coverage, so that's definitely something he needs to look to clean up in. Because this league is very ticky-tacky when it comes to P.I., so definitely something he needs to work on. But I was a fan of this pick. He's good at man-to-man. -man. He's going to press. He's, a, he's like 6'2", 6'3". He's got good size. And I am a fan of this pick. So at pick 49 in the NFL draft, the Steelers decided to go with um, Keanu Benton, defensive tackle for Wisconsin. Another pretty talented player that I saw mocked often to the Steelers later, like in the second or third round. Um, a good run stopper definitely needs to add a pass rush game but nonetheless i i'm a i'm a fan of this pick because as i mentioned um you know in my pre-draft videos draft needs i said we definitely need to look to add to defensive line for sure maybe in that third to second round range and you know what do you know we get keanu benda pretty decent run stopper uh you know just look to add to that defensive line group you know Led by Cam Hayward, Larry Ogunjobi. You, you drafted, uh, you know, you drafted him. You drafted DeMarvin Leal last year. You added some free agents uh, in the uh, free agency period. So I, I like, I like, I like these picks. Picking in the trenches. You know, Brodick Jones, Joey Porter Jr. You needed a secondary playmaker. And now Keanu Benton. And at pick 80, the Steelers decided to trade out, which was their first pick in the third round. We traded out with the Carolina Panthers, moving down to pick 93 and moving and getting another draft pick, pick 132, which I believe should be a fourth rounder. So. I'm not going to be up for those picks, so I'll have to catch you all up tomorrow on those picks um, as Pittsburgh will draft their third-round pick later tonight. I figured at some point we'd have to make a trade to try to get some draft capital back after trading up last night and just not having a fifth or six, six-round pick there. So definitely thought a trade was in the works at some point. So traded yesterday, traded today to get some draft capital back. So far for me, this draft is going great, and today was pretty good. You know, you get Joey Porter Jr., a player that, you know, many had you getting at 17. You get him at 32, got to like that. And you get a defensive lineman, defensive tackle, you know. I'm not going to say he's going to be a fucking beast or the second coming of Casey Hampton, but, you know, I think he's got some good potential, and let's see what, what happens. So, so far, so good. I would have a good night, and, uh... Subscribe, get the video a thumbs up, the boys out, go Steelers, Steeler Nation, I don't know how y'all can hate on this draft, man, this draft's going fucking great, Andy Weddle, Omar Conifact, let's get it, let's go.